Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to my High School Clicks cast series. This is gonna be the second to last episode we have in this Creative Sim series before we move on to the Let's Play or Machinima. I'm still not 100% sure which one I'm gonna do. I'm leaning towards Machinima style um, episodes but I mean obviously that is gonna be coming up soon. I need to start prepping that series as soon as possible. I have just been a little bit busy but anyway today we are creating the foreign exchange students because so many of you guys have been asking for this personally i don't have a lot of experience of foreign exchange students we don't get a lot of them here in finland i'm not sure we've had any um, or if I've ever met any. So I don't think you even see a lot of them in movies and TV shows. It's usually just about, you know, the American teenagers in high school. So I kind of just had to wing it and just try to create something. I don't know. I hope you guys like these. And obviously these are very stereotypical. That is the entire point of the series to create like stereotypes you might see in TV shows, etc. So I'm not trying to offend anyone and I'm def definitely not trying to say that everyone from this country looks or acts like this. Anyways, I read your guys' comments from last week's episode. There were so many again, like over 500 with amazing suggestions. And there were so many different countries that you wanted to see the exchange students from. Obviously, I'm only doing four, so it was a really, really tough pick, but I tried to pick countries from all around the world, and I also tried to pick some suggestions that had a lot of thumbs up or that were suggested a lot, so... I hope you like these. I'm sorry I couldn't do everybody, but personally, I really like this group and I hope it... I don't know. I hope you guys like it too, but the first thing we are creating, her name is Amira. She's from Egypt. She comes from a Muslim family and she's spending a year in America as an exchange student. I think she turned out really cool, but this was a really hard thing for me to do. Obviously, I tried to make the Sims look like people from that specific country that they're from and then their style and their names. I even looked up like popular names in these countries. So hopefully I did okay. I think she's gorgeous. She is, um, she's quite quiet and reserved. Like a lot of people might be afraid to go up to her, but once you get to know her, she's super, super funny and like bubbly and just a really fun person to be allowed and really loud. She has a quite big personality, but it just takes a while for that to come out and for her to trust people and for also other people to like get to know her. But she's a really, really nice girl and I really like her look. I hopefully, I'm just hoping I did okay. But anyway, I think her story could be quite interesting and I'm excited to see which students she becomes friends with. Obviously, she's currently hanging out with just the exchange students. Her English is probably not the best, but she's learning and she's coming out of her shell. She has the big happy family aspiration and she's a goofball and a foodie. So yeah, Amira is a lovely sim and I'm excited to play as her or like, you know, see her story in the high school story that we're going to be doing soon, I promise. So yeah, that was, that was the first sim. We're doing sims from Egypt, Australia, the Philippines and Ireland. So those are the countries that I chose. Those were suggested a lot, especially Ireland was requested so much. I don't know why, but I had to do a sim from there. This is the Australian guy. I just, I wanted to do Australia. It was suggested a lot. And I saw a suggestion that I should do a sim who is really into traveling and exploring and wanting to learn a lot about different cultures and definitely wants to like travel a lot in their life. So that is this kid. This is Cooper. And I've been wanting to name a sim Cooper since the beginning of this series. So I'm quite excited that we finally have a Cooper. It just didn't fit any of the other sims. But finally, Cooper King, I really like him. He is supposed to be like a really good looking buff guy. He is supposed to be like the stereotypical surfer kind of dude <laughs> from Australia. Um... Yeah, I like him a lot. I think he's quite good looking, but I don't know. I hope you guys like him. He's, again, yeah, very stereotypical. He's into surfing. He is into sports. He's quite athletic. Um, I'm sure he's going to be doing sports at this school as well. And obviously, he speaks English. He's got no problem with that. So I'm sure he's going to make a lot of friends in the school and he is probably going to get a girlfriend maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But he is very, very like easygoing and laid back. Just 
just a very chill kind of guy and yeah very very buff he's quite big I can imagine him being really tall as well not that you can change your sims heights in the sims 4 but if you could this guy here would be really really tall I'm actually going for the color beige today I just I don't know I wanted to go for something really neutral and natural so most of them are wearing like beige or like really light green um like his shirt here is beige and he's got the necklace even I know it's so stereotypical and then the flip-flops but <laughs> I just I wanted to do it I think he's cool and I obviously I mean that in a good way he's such a cool zim I love him a lot I gave him the loves the outdoors and outgoing traits and he also has the jungle explorer aspiration that came from the jungle adventure game pack because I wanted that to represent the fact that he really wants to just travel around the world and see see like all the different places and he's just very curious and yeah that is Cooper the third thing we're creating her name is Annalyn she's from the Philippines I think she turns out so so cute I hope you guys think she looks like I don't know like she's from the Philippines I really tried I really really tried but it's just yeah I I, I tried that's all I can say I think she does but yeah, you guys let me know. I think she's super, super cute. So I also saw a comment saying I should create someone from the Philippines who wants to, their dream job is to work for the UN, so the United Nations. And I thought that was a cool idea. So this is her. This is Annalyn. Um... So that's part of the reason she has come to the States to study here for a year. She wants to have better English, etc. She's really, really gorgeous. And I can totally imagine a lot of the guys at the school like totally falling for her. But she is also kind of reserved and like shy and very polite and such like a nice and kind person. So we'll see. We'll see what we do with her in the story. But I think she's super, super cute for her style. I went for she's got quite like this like a businessy look to be honest she's still a teenager but she's wearing this really cute like oversized almost cardigan with a belt and then just a skirt and some high heels I really wanted her to have high heels and I must have tried like 30 hairs on her but I end up going with this one I hope I haven't used this one in the series I am really struggling with remembering like everything I've used in this series because obviously I don't want to create sims with the same name or the same last name unless they are related and I know it would be realistic to have sims in the school who might have the same first name like if it's really common name like there could be two emmas or something but for the purpose of the series I think it could be very confusing so I'm trying to have different names for everybody and different hairs and different clothes for everybody but like once you've done over 50 sims you start forgetting because it's been like three months since I made the first one so I have to like go back and look at all the thumbnails <laughs> to see what everybody was wearing I didn't do that today because I was quite confident nobody's wearing this hair but I could be wrong but it's a really cute bun with little strands of hair like loose at the front and then she's got a choker a cute necklace and here is the cardigan as well and the heels I give her are really cute I've never used them before and for her traits I'm gonna go for good and perfectionist and her I think I ooh, I think I give her the friend of the world aspiration because she I don't know I feel like that really suited her even though she is quite shy but she's still like a super friendly kind person and like she will always think the best or like how do you say that what's the saying you think the best of everyone you know like you always I don't know I don't know maybe she's like a little bit naive in a way but I think she's super super cute and I really really like her as a sim and I think she just she turned out looking a lot different than a lot of my other sims so I'm super happy with that but yeah her name is Annalyn de Rosales I'm not sure how to pronounce that but I did look up some names that are common in the Philippines so hopefully um the internet didn't lie to me I really like the name Annalyn I think it's really pretty hopefully I'm also pronouncing it correctly and then lastly we are creating the student from Ireland this is Ronan um Ronan O'Connor that's his name <laughs> again going for a very typical Irish name I decided to make a guy because I think there were a lot of comments asking for a girl from Ireland but I'm doing a guy because we can't be doing just girls for the series we're already we already have more girls than guys so yeah this is Ronan he is a bro and he's clumsy he's really cute he yeah obviously I've gone for the ginger here I think that is very stereotypical for someone from Ireland he's also got a lot of freckles 
freckles. I gave him brown eyes, I think. I could have given him like green or blue eyes, but I think it's pretty rare. Or maybe it's only rare if you've got red hair. I don't remember, but he's got brown eyes. He's he's really cute. He is also really shy and really reserved. I feel like that's the thing with a lot of exchange students because obviously they don't know anyone at the school and it's a whole new country, might be a whole new language. So obviously you come off as like shy, like before you get to know people and make friends so that is Ronin I think this whole exchange sorry I just smacked my notebook um I think the whole exchange was his parents idea they kind of made him go he didn't really want to but he's here now I think he's only like just arrived he hasn't really made a lot of friends yet oh my god yeah who okay so these guys are all exchange students they're all only here for like a year or something so they have to stay with someone else's family that is how I think of exchange students so who should these guys stay with whose family should have these guys like whose family should take these guys in obviously they all need their own families but let me know in the comments which one of the other students should house one of these students i would love to know your thoughts and that is pretty much it for the exchange students if you want to download them they are on the gallery under my username which is eliandra yt or under the hashtag eliandra give this episode a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here and we'll have one more episode of this series left next week thanks so watching and bye this time I'm a winner this time I'm a winner